Well, we've always struggled to describe what whalebone's music sounds like. Um, when we came across the, uh, the word mirabilia in Robert McFarlane's book Landmarks earlier this year, it, it, it seemed perfect. Um, mirabilia means items of inexplicable origin and form, and immediately we thought, well, that's, that's really useful for a band that really struggles to pigeonhole themselves into one genre box. created new sounds and textures on, on this new album, Mirabilia, uh, using a variety of different techniques. Uh, we've used kind of ancient instruments like bazookis, for example, and we've kind of used modern day technology, taking advantage of like all the new digital delays that are around at the moment, um, and experimented with them. And it's kind of fed into the arrangements and into the compositions of the, of the music and the tunes which, you know, it's definitely a progression. We've always had a wide range of influences and everything we listen to influences us to an extent. But, you know, influences themselves have their own influences. So you take Celtic music, well, I mean, the, the Celts came to Britain from North Africa and Europe. So maybe there's some of that music mixed in there. And the the British rock scene, which has always been a big thing for us. All the classic rock bands really were influenced by American blues players, but their music really came from African slaves, if you go back far enough. Americana is a bit of an, a new sound for us, and there are hints of that on Mirabilia. But Americana, in turn, came from bluegrass and country, and bluegrass and country came from the traditional music of the British Isles that were taken over by the first settlers to America. So there were so many different influences mixed up, but that's, that's quite a good thing, I think, in a way, because whenever we chat to people we play to, they've got wide-ranging influences, and we can, we can chat to audience members, and they'll talk about anything from heavy metal to blues to, to folk. So I think, you know, adding lots of different influences to the music really kind of reflects the musical tastes of the people we're playing to. And this, um, this crisscrossing and blending of, uh, of musical influences really typifies what we are trying to achieve with Mirabilia. So right from the start of writing material for Mirabilia, um, we kind of agreed not to be tied down to kind of traditional song structures um, or formats, you know, if, if something wanted to be um, just a big long verse followed by a big long solo, that was fine. We didn't have to, to go back to the first verse again, you know, so it was, it was kind of a relaxed, um, I wouldn't say improvised way of writing, but having no constraints and no set rigid rules um, meant we came up with with kind of tunes that we haven't done before, like Floodplains, for example, ended up being six and a half minutes long, um, which is by far the longest tune that we've ever produced. Um, and, you know, that's fine, that's great. It's, it seemed to be what the, what the music was telling us to do, so we did it. <laughs> Some tunes really changed from when we initially wrote them um, to when we kind of got them in the studio. I mean, Anglicana, for example, when we first wrote it, it was, well, it had banjo on it for a start and it had um, a stomp box on it. So it, it was quite hillbilly sounding, um, really. Um, so when we got it into the studio, it turned out to be kind of a cross between kind of a Mark Knopfler tune and something the milk carton kids would produce, um, which is great, you know. Things, things developed, things changed, um, and I think it's resulted in a, a really kind of diverse and um, interesting album. Mirabilia is the first album that we've released that's had all original material on it. We've, we've always had original material on the albums, but very often we've mixed in classic rock as well and some traditional music. But we were recording Mirabilia and it, 
as it went on, it just felt right to make it a, an album of all the original material. It's not that we don't like the other stuff, it's just that at this time and place, it felt like this is what we needed to do. So Mirabilia is a culmination of everything that's gone before for us. The, the, the traditional sounds and the, the classic rock feel, they're still in there, but they've been absorbed into our own writing. In a way, all the threads have been woven together and what we've got now is 100% genuine whalebone. So we really hope you like it. Thank you.